DeepCode has taken the internet by storm in the last couple of days because it manages to combine DeepSeek R1's recent capabilities together with the cloud's creativity and code generation, actually making form the new OpenAI O3 model on some tests. And it even does this all while being open source and completely free. All you need to do is just to bring your DeepSeek and Claude API keys. And today I'm going to show you how you can use this in an N8N workflow. So as you can see here, we both we have both a simple Deep Cloud API call and also use Deep Cloud in an AI agent. So I'm going to show you how to build both of these, starting off with a simple API call. So I'm just going to throw away this node right here, and we need to add a new node called HTTP request. HTTP request. There we go. And now we need to head over to the Deep Cloud API. As you can see, and when you click on the API docs, you will get over to this page right here. And in this page, we will try to scroll. Uh, we will scroll down to the uh, non-streaming API usage, and we will just copy this right here. Everything over the dash D. Come back over to our NFT scenario, and we will click on Import C URL. And in here, we are just going to paste that in and click on Import. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to head over to both DeepSeek and Anthropic and get our API keys. So for DeepSeek, just head over to DeepSeek.com, click on API Platform. You will come to this platform and you can just click on API keys once you have added your uh, usage tokens or your credit. And then you can click on create API key and you can copy that, get back over to your NFT scenario, paste that in. And for the Anthropic, you will just come over to your Anthropic account. You will just go over to the left hand side of the panel right here and you will click on the API console and you will come to this console right here and you need to head over to the API keys inside of the console and you will again create a new API key. Get back over to NATN and paste that in here. Once you're done with that, we can move on to the next part, which is going to be send body. And we want to send a JSON, but we want to be using JSON. And in here, we can go back over to the deep cloud API uh, docs and we will now be able to just copy everything in here. So not including the little science before and after the JSON. And then we will come back over to our n scenario using JSON and we will just paste that in. So I'm just going to ask it, what is one plus one? Like this. And then we can test this step. And as you can see, it comes out with an answer using the thinking of DeepSeek and the reasoning of the DeepSeek and then coming out with an answer using Claude. So we're going to obviously use more complex tasks than what is one plus one, but that is basically. And now for setting up the Deep Cloud AI agent, as you can see, we don't have direct access to the Deep Cloud as our chat model in the AI agents. What we can do is we can actually use OpenAI or whatever other chat model you would like to use and basically make it use the Deep Cloud HTTP request as a tool. So basically use Deep Cloud as the AI agent, as you can see inside this agent. What I'm telling you to do here is actually to use Deep Cloud. You have the one tool available to use Every time you do an operation, this, that tool is Deep Cloud, which is a combination of two powerful LLMs. Always use Deep Cloud to form an answer. So uh, then I have connected the OpenAI chat model. As you can see, you just need to connect to your OpenAI account. And then we, I'll just use GPT-40 mini for the testing. And for the Deep Cloud uh, one HTTP request setup, I will show you how you can set that up. So as you can see in here, First of all, I made a little description here, just describing what the tool is, because you need that when it is a HTTP request, or else, uh, you know, the NTN or the AI agent won't understand what type of an uh, API call you are making. And this needs to be a post request, so set the method to post. And as you can see, we cannot directly import the uh, CRL in for the HTTP request in the tool for the AI agent, as we did for the basic HTTP request earlier but you need, actually need to paste this in manually. So paste your, the same URL in here for the API call. And then we want to send uh, headers and we want to be using the fields below. And then we again want to uh, paste in accept and say that we want to be using field below. And then again, application slash JSON. And in here, again, you need to set X DeepSeek API token using field below and then just paste your API token in here. And same goes for the Anthropic and just paste your API key in here. Now for the body, we actually want to be sending a body again using JSON below. And for the JSON right now, I have actually gone ahead and pasted in the same JSON, but for this content, I've pasted in the uh, JavaScript that we use to basically fetch the chat input message we get from this 
chats right here so that DeepClaw basically knows what we want to ask it. So now we can actually go ahead and chat with this DeepSeek, uh, DeepClaw AI agent. If we just reset this, we can just say uh, how many R's are there in strawberry, as you can see right here. When we send this message, we will get a response back from the DeepClaw. And as you can see now, the AI agent went ahead and used DeepClaw to basically find the reasoning for the how many R's are there in strawberry. And as you can see here inside of this deep cloud uh, node, we have a uh, output here where we have first have the thinking of DeepSeek. As you can see, the thinking goes all the way down here. And then we have the output which comes from Claude saying that there are three R's in the word. Basically now this DeepSeek, all this DeepSeek output will be then sent to Claude which then makes an output. Because as you can see here, we have 13 input tokens for the DeepSeek usage and 651 output tokens however for the and also 518 reasoning tokens however for the anthropic usage you can see here that the input tokens is a lot more 593 which is the reasoning from DeepSeek. but the output tokens are so much less because that is only what is said right here so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe and if you would like to work with me you can click the link in the description and i will see you in the next one